We all progress in small steps. So, before passing judgment on a man, try to walk a mile in his shoes to experience the world from his perspective. Considering the foregoing, the following account highlights an institution using its resources and influence to assist students who have entered its doors. A support system anyone will be grateful for. First of all, I'd like to say that part of our core values at Christian High School is giving. I'd like to emphasize that. At Christian High School, we have a very robust program through our guidance and counseling department who constantly do needs assessment of our students to ensure that all our students are benefiting from this program. And so we have a wide range of things that we do from ensuring that students are taken care of where bus fares are concerned, uh, for lunches, uniforms, books, stationaries. We even go as far as assisting students with their CSEC examination payments. Since my tenure here as guidance counselor, over 11 years, we have started what is called our welfare program in the guidance and counseling department. The numbers cannot be counted, to be honest, but oh, we have had a lot of students who have benefited. If I was to count, we would be counting over 500 and going. From those numbers, here are the few beneficiaries. They helped me with lunch. I benefited from the welfare program by receiving financial, financial help and help with purchasing school clothes, shoes, and so on. I was benefited um, with um, financial, financially, uh, for litigation for getting uniforms and bus fare and to come to school. Our program also assists with school shoes. We have received donations from past students overseas from time to time. So we get shoes, backpacks, stationary supplies and those things. So yes, we have assisted students. Sometimes we might see a student come into school in slippers because they are in need of our shoes and we have reached out to them. If we don't have it readily on hand in the office, then we collect donations or from our welfare drive or funds, we can purchase shoes for those children. Over the years, by doing our needs assessment, we realized that children are from varied backgrounds. They are from homes where parents are unemployed, and so the needs are great. So we, as a school, we have decided to launch this welfare program so that we can assist these students to stay in school because education is very important and children cannot learn if they are hungry, if they are in need. So this is one way of reaching out to them. My role in the welfare program is to ensure or assist in ensuring that students who need assistance are taken care of in the best way we can. We are not just there for them as teachers, but we are their mothers, we are their fathers, and we try our best to show them that kind of support. Every opportunity we get through our assembly period, we try to ensure that we have speakers, we have motivational speakers who comes in and demonstrate this kind of love to the students. And we do our part as, as, as caregivers, as teachers, as principals. I feel extremely grateful because this helps our students, everyone that's in need and some that just need a little bit of assistance. It helps them to be less worried about how they get through their school life. <laughs> 